Hi, sometimes you want to load local HTML files into WebView. In this tutorial, I will show you exactly how to do that. Let's get started. If you want to master Android apps and games development, then click subscribe and the bell icon and let's do this together. Open Android Studio. Click New Project. Click Next. Write the project name. Provide the package name. I am going to save on my desktop. For language, select Java. And for minimum SDK, select API 21. Click Finish. Now wait for Android Studio to build and configure your empty project. Let's create a SS folder first. Right click on App, New, Folder and Assets folder. Click Finish. Now I have stored all my HTML, CSS and JavaScript files in this folder. Let's check this out. I will copy these files in Android Studio. Next, go to activity underscore main dot XML. First, I will change this constant layout to linear layout. Delete this text view as we don't need it anymore. And add a web view element. Open themes.xml and add this style tag to make your app full screen. Go to manifest and refer this theme. Also add android colon uses clear text traffic equals to within double quotes true. Add internet permission. Open mainactivity.java and declare a webview object reference in class scope. Get a reference to our webview object in onCreate. Create a web settings object. If you want to use zoom feature, write Enable JavaScript using the web settings object. Now, when the user clicks a link from a web page in your web view, the default behavior for Android is to launch an application that handles URLs. Usually, the default web browser opens and loads the destination URL. However, you can override this behavior for your web view so that links open within your web view. You can then allow the user to navigate backward and forward through their web page history that's maintained by your web view. To open links clicked by the user, 
simply provide a web view client for your web view using set web view client method. Now all links the user click loads in your web view. If you want more control over where a click link load, create your own web view client that overrides the should override URL loading method. Now load the local index file like this. Next, define the callback class by extending WebView client. Override should override URL loading method. By returning false, you are telling Android that this is my website, so do not override. Let WebView load the page. To go back to previous page, if back button is pressed in web view, overwrite on back pressed. If web view is not null and web view dot can go back method returns true, then open the previous page. If there is no previous page, close app. Run the app. To check the output. Perfect. If you find this tutorial useful, please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this.